out to that decision from the U.S. Supreme Court today not to rule on the scheduled execution of a convicted killer from Memphis. Yeah, Don Johnson is also an ordained minister set to die by lethal injection this Thursday in Nashville. He was part of a lawsuit challenging the drugs used for lethal injection in Tennessee. Local 24 News senior investigator Jenny DePrezio is here in the studio to explain. Jenny? Yeah, you know, the state of Tennessee uses a combination of three drugs to execute someone by lethal injection. It's a method that's been at the center of lawsuits here in Tennessee and across the country. It just breaks my heart that this is a very real possibility that he's going to be executed. Steve Schaefer is against the scheduled execution of Don Johnson, a man he's known for more than a decade. Johnson was convicted of suffocating his wife Connie in 1984. A lot of the public has been led to believe that this is a very quiet, serene thing. This is the best way to uh, die. You're in no pain. But opponents of Tennessee's three-drug lethal injection protocol say that's not the case. They say the drug combination does not keep inmates from feeling excruciating pain as they die. Lawyer Robert Hutton has represented several death row inmates. The inmates have argued that this inflicts more pain than is necessary to predict to um, kill someone. The main problem, the drug that was most frequently used for lethal injection, has not been available, so states have had to come up with other alternatives. They refuse to make it, and so states were having a hard time finding drugs that were needed to basically to uh, execute people. Last year, after there were problems when Tennessee executed Billy Ray Eyrick with the three-drug combo, the next two inmates executed in Tennessee opted for the electric chair. Hutton represented one of those men. Their thinking or belief was, even though our electrocution was more painful, it was a lot quicker. Hutton says the nationwide debate over lethal injection drugs continues. Johnson supporters hold out hope his life will be spared. Any way that you kill somebody, I think you are violating their God-given right to redemption. Now today, several letters were hand-delivered to the governor. Find out who else is jumping on into the fight for Johnson's life. Tonight at 6, Jenny DiPrizio, Local 24 News.